Hi everyone, my name is Mpo Mukadi and uh, thank you for Fortis Rise for inviting me for the interview and I'm looking forward to tell you about my work and my process. Well, how did I get into photography? Um, I think it was by coincidence because my mom got me a point and shoot camera as a gift and I couldn't stop photographing then I was about around like nine and um, when I discovered photography I was intrigued by it and um, I really did not plan to be a photographer I was just taking photographs for fun when we went on school trips and um, I did not do it with the idea of a profession I was simply it was simply a passion and uh, an obsession that later on in my life I experienced blood um being a photographer and i went and studied for with the market photo workshop and that's when my idea of photography started opening up and i took it from there and now, now I'm, a, I'm a practicing photographer well my photographic vision would be an exploration of myself mostly what I shoot reflects most of myself and the people that I include in my images are a reflection of myself and the world. So yeah, when I, when I photograph, I would say that it's an exploration of myself and the world and what is happening, what is happening around the world through my eyes, of course, obviously. My favorite image is of a photographer called Tabiso Sekala. But he inspired a lot of my work and he, his process also inspired my process of the work and who was a mentor also to my work. And um, yeah, I really enjoy his work and I like how he speaks about the current um, issues with with the world and mostly South Africa. For me personally, I would say that um, it's not really about how the photo looks. Most of the people shoot photographs for aesthetics. So for me, it's mostly the message behind it and what the photographer is trying to you know, portray the message behind it or what the photographer is shooting. Um, it can be like politics, social issues, or, you know, I mean, photography is also too broad. We have different genres in photography. So my work would say that I'm a social documentary photographer. So, yeah, my... I would say that um, a photograph should portray a message behind it. Yeah. My favorite photographers are mostly South African photographers, which are Sabelo Langeni, who's a good friend of mine, Andile Buga, who's also a good friend of mine, Tabiso, the late Tabiso Zekala, whom his work really inspires mine, uh, and the late David Goldblatt, who documented the history of South Africa and during apartheid. And um, the three, the four chosen photographers, what I like about them is they photograph the current issues that affect the world and South Africa at large, mostly issues that affect youth or economics or social issues around South Africa. So that what uh, inspires me. Well, going to Malawi opened possibilities for me to explore myself and the community that I work with in Malawi. I mostly photograph the motorcyclists that most, most of them, they are men. As I said before, it's a reflection of myself through other people. So I was photographing these motorcyclists and I did a couple of interviews with them and I got to know them personally. 
And uh, it's an ongoing project. I still feel like I have to go back and, you know, and I've created friends with them, you know, so some of them, I'm, I'm in contact with them. So we speak about when I should go visit, but it's mostly about the issues, economical issues that affect Malawi. And um, I spoke to these young men about the economic situation and they rely mostly on the motorcyclists, on the motor, uh, on the motorbikes to um, earn a living. So I photographed them, I made portraits of them to, for them to tell their own stories through my images. So basically what I did was um, I spent about a month, uh, three weeks to a month there, just, you know, photographing them and like asking questions. Most of them did say that they would love to go to South Africa to create a better, mostly Johannesburg as Johannesburg is a economic driven city. And um, most of them said they would want to visit Johannesburg and make a living out of it. Some of them are scared to go to Johannesburg because of the xenophobic attacks that have been happening in the country. I spoke to some that have been to South Africa before, but they had to come back because of what happened during the attacks. Um, also, I I spent a couple of times with them, you know, like just just getting to know them and like creating this body of work. What is my next project? I'm working on a self-reflective project now that I'm based in Switzerland as a young black man who is from South Africa, which is a very, uh, I could say like racially segregated country. So my project now is based on me being here as a black man with the history of racism and inequality in South Africa and how I find myself here. It's still um, a very uncertain project that I'm doing, but it's a more of a self-reflective project that I'm, project that I'm on at the moment. And um, also questioning and investigating how being black in a white world is for me and also um, as a reflection of what's been happening around the world with the racial issues and as we've had or as we've seen before about the Black Lives Matter and how it affects individuals that are living in a white dominant space like Switzerland. So I'm trying to in investigate that and and also as a reflection of myself being in this white dominant space and yeah and questioning myself how to you know integrate and also how to adapt to how the system works. So it's more of a personal project that I'm I've been working on, so we'll see where, it, where it's, I mean, I don't have any certain period of how it's gonna take me, it's just an exploration of myself and and hope things be okay with me being here in a wide dominant space. Um, to check some of my work, please go on my website, which is www.mpomokhadi.co. On social media, what I've been doing, what I've been up to, don't hesitate to visit my Insta, um, Insta page, which is the handle is mpomokhadi, my name. And uh, yeah, if you need some collaboration, if you need to work and if you need to discuss, openly about anything that affects the world do not hesitate to send me an email and have conversations and have continuous talks about what's affecting the world or what's affecting me in your space i think it would be a really interesting 
you know, exchange to to explore each other. Thank you. <laughs>